Okay, good morning. Um, today we're going to be talking about division uh, with the number two. The first problem on this page, this is page nine. At this point, you should have done all the multiplication by two. And division is just the opposite of multiplying. We have the problem here, and this is actually 10 divided by two, okay? And this box up here is for us to make tally marks as we do the multiples of two, okay? And we're gonna do them until we get to 10. So I'm going to put little marks. So as we do this problem, we do two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five marks. And that five goes above the zero, okay, because it goes in the ones place. And underneath the ten, I'm going to write ten, and I'm going to subtract, and I get zero. So that means uh, that there's no more that can go into that number. The next one. 14 divided by 2. So I'm going to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 marks. So the 7 goes above the 4 because it goes in the 1's place because it's just a 7. Then under the 14, I'm going to write 14. And then I subtract and I get zero because there are no remainders. Okay? I'll do one more. Okay. 18 divided by 2. So we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm going to put a mark here. 18. All right. So if I count all these marks, I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the 9 goes in the 1's place, so it goes above the 8. And we said 2 times 9 is 18, so I write 18 underneath the 18, and I subtract, and 18 minus 18 is 0. And that's how I do all of the problems on this page. So now I'm going to turn to the next page. Now on this page, the twos don't go in evenly, okay, which means we're going to have some remainders. Okay, so if I look at this, three divided by two. Well, if I count by twos, I have two. If I put one more, that's four, and that's too much. So I'm just going to put the one up here above the three, and then under the three, two times one is two, so two goes underneath that. And then I subtract, three minus two is one. Another way I could say that is three, and then I count backwards, three, two, one. So one goes there, which means we have a remainder of one. Because anytime there's a number down here, that's your remainder, okay? All right, let's try the next one. Seven divided by two. So that's going to be two, four, six. If I do one more, that's eight. So that's too many. So I've got one, two, three. The three goes above the seven. And then I said two times three is six. The six goes under the seven. And now I'm going to subtract. And remember when we subtract, we can also just count backwards. So we have seven and if you remember where your dots go, let's see, I'll use this. So we have seven minus six. So it's seven, uh, six, five, four, three, two, one. So one goes underneath that, which gives us a remainder of one. This little thing, I'm writing an R for remainder. So it's three, remainder one. Let me do, let's do this one. 19 divided by 2. Okay. So we're going to go, oops, it's kind of hard to hold. 
you know, and let me write this one on the board. No, that's okay. We'll do it this way. Okay, 19 divided by 2. So I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. If I did one more, that would be 20. So that's going to be too much. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tally marks. So the 9 goes above the 9. And I said 2 times 9 is 18. So I'm going to write that underneath the 19. And I'm going to subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. I could also get that by counting backwards. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So then I have to come up here and I'm going to put an R1 for remainder 1. Okay. And the rest of the pages are going to be like this one. They're going to be division. Um, let's see. The next page, they will all have remainders. And then after that, some will have remainders and some won't. Okay? But that's how you finish this pack. Then next you're going to start on the fives. And the multiples of five, it's just like when you learn to count by fives when you were younger. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay? So I'm not going to do these first two pages. I'm going to skip to the first page with problems. So at the top, there's a spot here where we can write the multiples of 5. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so I have those at the top. So now, when I do the multiplication, all I'm going to do is count by fives. Okay. So five times nine. Okay, there's a single dot, so I'm going to start with just five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So the, the four goes in the tens place, and the five goes in the ones place. All right, so 5 times 3, 5, 10, 15. The 5 goes in the 1's place, and the 1 goes in the 10's place. Okay, and then let's go down to, let's do this one, 6 times 5. So, all right, so we're going to count by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the 0 goes in the 1's place, and the 3 goes in the 10's place. And that's all there is to it. We're just skip counting, okay? Like we skip counting by 2's, now we're skip counting by 5's. Okay. If you have any questions, please let Mrs. Salazar know, and she will let me know so I can contact you, okay? Otherwise, this is what you're doing this week. And I will make another video for you next week. Okay. I hope things are going okay. And um, anyway, I, I hope things are going okay. I hope you're uh, staying busy and happy. And uh, anyway, I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.